Hi, it's Linda Ferguson from NLP Canada Training with the last in our series of video shorts on using storytelling for influence. And in this final segment, I just want to encourage you to tell more stories and to trust the stories you tell. It's common for people to resist storytelling for two reasons. The first is that they feel it makes things too personal, too egotistical, too much about them. But when you think about the people who tell really wonderful stories about their lives, you very seldom think of them as egotistical. Mostly, you think of them as treasures who allow you to step into their experience with them and have wonderful experiences or wonderful perceptions that you wouldn't otherwise have. So there's no need to fear that your storytelling will automatically make you egotistical. You don't have to tell stories from your own life, of course. You can tell stories that you have encountered, whether that is in a book, at the movies, through observing things in your community. There's a lot of different places to find stories, and they will come automatically to mind at the right time if you just allow that to happen. Because the second reason people are afraid to use storytelling for influence is that they think that stories leave too much to the imagination to be effective. That somehow, if they only gave a very specific direction to someone, they would be more likely to be influential than if they told them a story. Well, if you have kids, you've tried giving very specific directions and you know how often that works. Sometimes it does, sometimes a specific direction gets a specific response, but often it gets no response at all. That never happens with a story. Whatever story comes to mind, if you know what you want, if you know the person you are engaging with, that story is going to put something in your relationship that allows you to connect more strongly, to share enthusiasm, perhaps to share fears, and to create the groundwork for moving forward. People who are influenced by stories are influenced by what they want, not just what you want. They never feel coerced. They always feel honored that you have shared a story with them. So these are the two reasons you have been most likely to put aside stories. Instead, I'm going to invite and encourage you to go out into the world after hearing this to encounter people, to listen with bigger ears to the stories that they are telling you, to allow yourself to connect through stories and be honored that people have shared their stories with you, and to share your own stories, trusting that you will have the right story at the right time to get the right outcome. I'm Linda Ferguson, NLP Canada Training. Have a great day.